Hey, Professor Fields here again. We're talking about AJ 103 Criminal Law, Chapter 4. We're talking about Learning Outcome 4.6, which says, how does accident or misfortune uh, affect your ability to have criminal intent? Now, this defense of accident or misfortune is based on the fact that you don't have any evil outcome or evil intent. You didn't intend for anything to go happen, but you know, accidents happen, and somebody got hurt, uh, and so there, there's somebody injured, but it's not your fault because you didn't do anything intentionally wrong. You see this a lot in industrial accidents. I've got a little picture here of a janitor that spills some water on the floor. Uh, here, he didn't intentionally spill the water on the floor. The guy walking by fell down and got hurt. There's no criminal negligence here. There might be some civil negligence, uh, maybe like when a crane breaks or something like that, but there's no criminal negligence there. Another one I used to see a lot, you know, when I did my traffic investigations was pedestrians, uh, especially kids, that run into the street in front of a car. Pedestrian runs out into the street in front of the car. As long as your car is in lawful operation, you're not speeding, you're not driving drunk, you're not doing anything else wrong, and you run into the pedestrian, you didn't intend to kill that pedestrian. It's the pedestrian's fault, and so there's no criminal intent on your part. It's very unfortunate, but it's no criminal intent. You can also use the accident or misfortune uh, when you're doing a lawful act and somebody dies while you're doing the lawful act. The reason I'm using these six Baltimore PD officers is my personal opinion. Again, I'm not a lawyer. I've just read a lot on the case here. Uh, they charge these six Baltimore PD officers with murder in the, in the death of the uh, person, the prisoner. And what happened, if you don't know the story, you should. It's been in the papers lately. Is they went to talk to the guy. He ran. They uh, tackled him, took him into custody put him in the back of the police van, didn't seatbelt him in, um, and he ended up with a broken spine. Now, did they intend to hurt this guy? Likely not. They didn't set out that day saying, let's hurt this guy. Is it lawful for a police officer to use force when effecting an arrest? Yes. So if during the arrest that's when his spine got hurt, you know, I, I feel sorry for the guy that, that got killed, but, you know, that's, that's the way things happen sometimes when you fight with people, they get injured out of it. Should the officers have seatbelted the guy in the back of the car? Yeah, there's a, I don't know about the seatbelt law, but I know there's a Department of Policy in Baltimore, and it's the same in California, that you seatbelt your prisoners so they don't bounce around the back of the van. That's what happened, this guy bounced around the back of the van. So there's some negligence there? Yeah, there's some negligence, um, but is it enough negligence to show murder? No, I, in my opinion, no. They'll probably get a lesser charge. Uh, I don't know how the uh, criminal law system works in, in, in uh, Maryland. In California, you, you might get a manslaughter charge out of that. But anyway, that's how the accident or misfortune uh, criminal defense works.